it, but NOAA has issued their winter outlook for the United States. I'm going to send it over to meteorologist Michelle Powers for more on that. Yes, and we were talking about this today, Dave, that this is one factor that goes into the seasonal forecast. So this is what I can tell you. We are looking at the third winter in a row with another La Nina pattern. So with this pattern, we typically see milder temperatures here. There's a greater chance along the East Coast, but there's also a lot of variability. We could still have some cold and snow. Now with the La Nina setup, this is this affects the water temperature over the equatorial Pacific. It creates a high pressure over the eastern Pacific and drives the jet stream into a trough just to our west. So with this type of pattern setting up, a lot of times we see some of the storm tracks off to our west and that will allow some warmer air to come up from the south. And a lot of times we could see some mixed precip events, but other times we could end up with some very snowy events. Now again, there's just a greater chance pointing to the possibility of some milder temperatures. Now, what about the precipitation? It looks like we have equal chances here in the Northeast and in New Jersey. A lot more wet and snowy weather possible just off to our West. So what does this mean for us? Again, there's a lot of factors that go into this, but again, this is the third time in a row that we are looking at a La Nina pattern setting up here in the around the globe rather. And then here in the US, potentially we could be off for or some milder temperatures. Now stay with us. Certainly we'll have more details because there is some cold weather coming our way tonight, but how long does that last? More on that coming up.